So this question was asked in gate 1998. So let us read out the question first. They are saying, consider n processes sharing the CPU in the round robin fashion. That means we are using a round robin algorithm here. Assuming that each process switch takes s second, and there must be the quantum size q such that oh, they are saying what must be the quantum size q such that the overhead resulting from process switch is minimized but at the same time each process is guaranteed to get its turn at the cpu at least every t seconds okay so read the question again try to solve this question so after that uh, come back to the solution here now what they are asking what they are saying is we are using a round robin algorithm in the time quantum size is q so this is the time quantum size is q okay now this is the gantt chart assume now they are saying if we are doing a process switch then there is a overhead between every process switch okay that means if this is the process p1 and this is the process p2 between the switching of process p1 to process p2 the time taken is this much and this time is given as s second that means this time from here to here this time is given as s seconds right and every after every t seconds after every t seconds a processed process should get a turn right so we have the process total n processes though process p1 p2 p3 right then we will execute the process p4 up to so on the process pn fine so between process p2 and p3 it will take a process switch here it will take a process switch here it will take a process switch and again after every t seconds right that means from the start of this to the start of this that is after again after every t seconds one process should get this turn okay so let me repeat it again they are saying consider there are n processes so we have the process p1 to pn which are executing in the cpu in a round robin fashion assuming that each process takes switch takes a second that means Uh, from taking one process out of the cpu and then putting the other process inside the cpu then this time is the s second right so what i'm saying is if a process is in the cpu then to bring this process out of the cpu and bring the other process inside the cpu the total time taken between this switch is called as the uh, context switching time and here the context switching time is s seconds then what must be the quantum size q then they are asking this quantum size q so this is every process will get cpu for q time so this process will also get cpu for q time this process will also get cpu for q time this process will also get cpu for q time right now they are asking what should be the value of q such that such that this overhead can be minimized and every process can should get its turn after every t seconds right so we can see by this figure you can easily identify that we can say that t this process p1 should get a turn after every t second that means t should be greater than or equal to the total time from here to here so what is the total time this s is total n times 1 2 3 4 5 up to so on s n times so s into n plus this time quantums how many times we are doing this time quantum 1 2 3 4 5 up to so on n minus 1 times so it is q into n minus 1 which is equal to t should be greater than sn or you can say here you can say that uh, q n minus 1 should be less than equal to t minus sn from this complete equation so q can be written as q should be less than equal to T minus S n upon my n minus one. T minus S n upon my n minus one. Therefore, which is uh, this option number B. Fine. 
so you can if you can uh, if it is difficult to understand then, then just try to rewind the video then you will get uh, the idea about this and still if it is not clear just uh, email me then i will make one more video on this okay